It's me, Mario! Hey guys, what's up? It's Mario 14th here with another episode of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. This is episode 7. Um, last episode we did the Hagrid Hut challenge thing, and we did Quidditch, and we made our way to the Defense Against the Dark Arts lesson, and we sort of aced the Lumos thing. Um, sorry you didn't get one final rage from me, but, um, oh well. You gotta just move on. Um, but yeah, so today we're gonna do the challenge, and then see if we have any more time after that. Um, so let's jump right into it here. As you can see, the most... That's quite that. bright, isn't it? Now you can c cross the chasm and collect your challenge stars. I'll meet you at the end. Yeah, all Lumos does is it creates, um, platforms, um, that don't have a very defined edge, so they're kind of dangerous to platform on. It's kind of stupid, really. And you can only cast them on one thing. And I kind of like how this level has a bit of a darker tone, since you're going to be, you know, using a light spell. Lumos is actually a light spell. What it actually does in the mo books and movies is it lights up the tip of your wand, so you can see. It's like a flashlight, basically. And I think it can be done with your finger, if you're good enough, but... Of course, first years couldn't do something like that. Like what's, what's it, why is he holding a bone? That's really weird. Either that or he just has a really weird hand. Anyway, but, um... Yeah, you have to be really good at magic to be able to use only your hand. And it's not as strong when you don't use a wand. Your wand sort of, like, channels it. This level's lonely and depressing. Man, Pendo! Yes, Pendo Man. Flipendo. What I thought. Uh. Uh. These are like spaced almost too far apart. Uh. It's weird. Uh. It's weird for days. Ugh, this level's cold and depressing. My gosh, cast a spell! Those platforms do look cool, though. However, they are very impractical. That was awkward. You're awkward, Harry. Didn't I just get this one? Didn't Hagrid give me that one? I swear Hagrid gave me that one. Hold on. Or maybe he gave me that one. I don't know. Don't worry if if I'm if you're concerned as to why I'm not reading them, I plan on doing them like at the end. Ah, rug on the wall. Oh, I haven't seen one of those in a while.
Why a gargoyle? That's really weird. And then that platform moves up and down, yeah. Quickly, 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 no! So, that Interstellar movie is coming back to theaters, a select IMAX theaters with 12 minutes of extra footage. Um, oh, geez, that was just a wild guess. Um, but what I think is really going to happen is it's just going to be like 30 seconds of extra footage of them flying through space here, and 10 seconds here, and, you know, it's not going to be anything significant. You know what I mean? That's usually what happens when they announce 10 minutes of extra footage. It's sad but true. Sad but true. Sad but true. Well, the roads are iced over. School's cancelled. <laughs> Is that Hogwarts? Why, yes it is. But it won't open. I believe this also, I don't know if it does it in this game, but it makes it so you can walk through some walls. Like, the walls turn into that thing, and you can walk through them. But I think that might be only in the second one and forward. That was a close call. Look at that stained glass. Ah! 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 <laughs> Jump! But yeah, the order's a good game. I tried it out. Um. I don't personally have a PS4, but my dad does, and I played the first few chapters. And I don't know why everyone keeps complaining about it, and... Ooh. I know what this is. No one likes you, Peeves. You couldn't color a bean that much. You'd have to like color them in like each one individually to get a pattern like that. But then again, they use magic even to color their beans. It's not something you hear someone say every day. Um, I think I'm going back the way I came. Yeah. 
which means I go this way. Und ja. The powder of Christ compels you. Okay, let's do this. So Spock died. Just, just to remind every, anyone who was already upset about it, um, your favorite Vulcan's gone. And um, may he rest in peace, live long and prosper. Get it? Get it? I made it funny. Laugh at it. Sounds all fuzzying out on me. I don't know if it's just my speaker. Hope it's just my speaker. <laughs> so dark and lonely here. This level's depressing. You're my frog man. Something in here. Oh no, you can't go in these. Forgot. For some reason, I thought there was something in there. Oh. Hey, he's lost. Look at him. I think I'm lost. Sucks, you slithering piece of crap. Please stop that. No. Do I know you? I think I'm lost. Sucks. Professor Quirrell never went to get him either. What a jerk! Oh, that was a weird jump there. I, know, I feel like that jump was super accelerated. Might have just been in my head. When did Hogwarts have bottomless pits in it like that? That's so. Ugh. Why are you putting students through this? Maybe there's some sort of magical charm on them that makes them reappear back into the classroom after a certain amount of time of them being missing, and if they fall down a pit or faint or something, it's just simulated danger. That's my uh, that's my justification, and that's how it, how it is in my brain now. Except for when he's on like actual levels where they're like that. That's only for the spell challenges. When he's actually in danger, then that's legit. <sighs> hey, it's Nick. Hello again, Harry. What's up? Clever lad, you found my secret napping place. Shh. I feel like this part's so random. Hello again, Harry. Like, why? Why? Clever lad, you found my secret napping place. This is where you sleep. It's not very secret. Hello again, Harry. That's so random. I actually am, haven't questioned that until now, and I'm kind of like, why is that there? That's really weird. Clever lad, you found my secret napping place. What? Hey, there's Quirrelly. 
Quirrelly whirly. Super curly, I don't know. <laughs> Nick. Nick. Nick at night. Clever lad! Get it. You found my secret napping place. Shh. I know one of these paintings, I swear, is a secret. Something in this hallway, I swear, is a secret. Just don't know what. So scary. Ah. Luke collected all the challenge stars. Twenty points for good Gryffindor. Now yeah. off to check out the potions lesson. Gosh, it sounds really glitching. I'm gonna restart the game at the next save point. Uh, back in the room with these. Nintendo! 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 I knew there was one of those in here. I thought it was in that hallway. But I knew there was one of them in here at some point. It just really depends on what point. It's really confusing because sometimes. Harry, over here. What? 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 Who said that? Hey, Harry. Your eyes don't at all match that. Have you collected 25 beans? No. We need the beans for some <coughs> experiments. Too bad, don't have any. Bye. JK. Nice work, Harry. You found all the beans we needed for now. Here's a wizard. Did not card find 25. Over like 300. 65. 365. Come on. Come on. Get with it. Is that Maleficent? Remember. You don't know anything it about kinda us looks collecting like it. beans. It'll okay. be our secret, right? Sure. That seriously looks like Maleficent, though, on the wizard card from the Disney thing. Is she like an actual wizard? Like she looks a lot like her. That's really weird. Well, that sound was off sync, and that bothers me. But okay. Um, I'm looking at the thing. I seriously don't know what's up with the sound. It's being really weird and pissing me off. This one's still a secret. I want it to be though. Next is our potions lesson, and it looks like we're already late. 
Oh, I think the skipping noise was the fire. I thought it was... I thought it was... Some sort of order you should be doing this in. I feel like that leads to a secret. I can't just have a few spell cast on something without it leading to. Maybe it made that appear. I don't know. Yeah, there's something going on with the sound. It's probably because I'm running this game on a newer computer and it was designed for an older one. The Dungeons. I've been kind of looking forward to this part. TBH. I am your potions teacher, Professor Snape. Today, you will learn how to mix a Wigan Weld healing potion. You're late for potions, Mr. Potter. Inexcusable, even for celebrities. Five points from Gryffindor. Potter, go to the dungeons and fetch the potion ingredients for the class. Bring back Wigan Tree Bark, Moly, Dittany, and Flubberworm Mucus. Be quick about it, or I shall deduct house points from Gryffindor. Now be gone, and don't come back without the ingredients. Rude. Good luck, Harry. I want to just stay here and make potions with you. Jerk. Be Disney. What? What? Where am I? I wonder if Snake tricked me. No dip. He's a teacher too. The nerve. Well, I think this is a good place to sign off for now. Um. You know, seeming as, like, we just finished the challenge and we're just about to embark on another level. So we shall tackle this level in the next episode. Um, you know, thumb, thumbs up for uh, the new intro. Um, you know, make sure to drop the video a like. You know, smack it in the face. Cast Flipendo on it. Um, oh, music for my sign-off. And um, don't forget to um, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I already said like, but whatever. Don't forget to subscribe to Gamer Advantage and follow my podcast on Twitter and follow me on Twitter and um, listen to my podcast, Gamer Advantage. Um, and stay in tune for the next episode. I hope to see you there. Uh, this has been Mario 14th and this has been Sorcerer's Stone Episode 7. See you guys next time.